What is up everyone? I am Emily with Emily's Closet Therapy and I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to my channel. I get asked multiple times a week how I run my business, how I plan my day, and how I accomplish a lot throughout the day. The key is organization. So come along with me today and I'll show you what it's like to be a part-time busy reseller. I'll show you the day-to-day, -day, the ins and outs, and hopefully you'll learn something and you can take it and use it in your own business. Let's go. For me personally, one of my best tricks is just to get up and get ready every single morning. I feel so much more productive and awake and alert and I feel like people take me so much more seriously as well. So guys, every reseller has a space, whether it's right in the big fat middle of the living room or in a basement or a guest bedroom or anything like that where they use to work. So I'm going to show you mine. It's not pretty, it's not neat right now because I actually use it. Here goes. I keep all of my supplies here, nice and organized. Down below are my bags and shipping materials. I use that window to take videos sometimes and use for natural light for pictures. The guest bedroom, so there's that. There's my light that I use. Notice I have a tissue crammed in it because it doesn't hold my phone up evenly. If you have this light from Amazon, you probably know what I'm talking about. Here's where I sort some of the things that I'm going to be listing on like Poshmark or Mercari or something like that. And then I have in that closet stored the next season of items that I'm going to be selling. And then this is stuff that's currently in process. I've got lots of shoes. These things need to be dealt with. Right here is where I hang my items for pictures. See, it's a nice blank wall with nothing there. And everybody needs to have a blank space where they can take pictures from. I also have this cute vintage trunk that I keep and store items in. If you wanna see where I take my videos from usually, it's right there on the floor. I did not intend for this mask to be on here. Oh my word. Anyway, I'm about to do a live in about 15 minutes I'm working on um, getting some stuff together and it's going to be a few mixed sizes but mostly um, plus size. This is cracking me up. So stay tuned in just a few minutes. Speaking of videos, it's in this room where I take lots of pictures and videos, but also, most importantly, I do a lot of live sales in here. If you've never tried it, you really ought to. It's a good way to move merchandise quickly. I do this on my personal business page that I keep on Facebook, but you could do it on your regular, just your personal Facebook page as well. Give it a try. Reselling is not always glamorous, as you can see by this giant stack of clothes behind me. I do know who they belong to and they have names. These are things waiting to be listed either on Facebook or Mercari or Posh Poshmark. I do have stacks and they're all organized and neat. I'm sure other people have a much more organized way of doing it, but this works for me. I think it's safe to guess that about 80% of my time as a reseller is used on just sorting, cleaning, organizing clothes. So what I do is I take one person's bags, I open them up one at a time, I decide what can sell and what can't. I have a donate bag constantly where I put things with holes or rips or stains that go straight into donate, do, a donate bag. Um, I lay the clothes out, look at them closely and then if they are ready to be listed because they're in the correct season I lay them out and take pictures of them one by one this takes a ton of time it really does once I get them all laid out and photographed then I'm ready to start the listing process so listing clothes is more than just taking pictures and writing out what it is it's a lot more actually it's checking for stains, like I said, checking for holes, anything like that. But then it's also doing your research and knowing what something costs to buy it new. I usually 
look things up on Google or on other selling platforms like Mercari or Poshmark and see what things are selling for there as well. Typically, my rule of thumb is 30% of new is what I price things at. So when I go to list things, I have to create a main heading of what types of things I'm gonna be selling and then individually in the comments, if I'm selling on Facebook, I list each item and the price, the size, and all the details there. Now comes the fun part. All the selling is done. I've let things be listed on Facebook or different platforms until they've run their course. And then I'm ready to end that sale. So what I do is I either delete the post or I've sold the item online. And um, as I'm selling items, by the way, I'm keeping a running total for each client that I'm selling for, and it's time to pay them. So in my particular business, I pay 30% to the client and I keep 70%. I write a thank you note. I put it in a cute little envelope with my logo on it with their cash and a tax receipt, and it's time to pay them. It's about 8.45 p.m. I've cleaned up dinner, as you can see kitchen's clean and I've been doing some work so I'm going to show you um, basically what it looks like when I am finished selling for people and when I am ready to make payments so I have really cute cards that I use and I put their money which is 30% and I put their um, tax receipt and I always do a thank you card inside every one and they are ready I actually have these going out tomorrow all of these so that means I'm paying that many people that's quite a lot and um, it usually takes about four to six weeks but these some of these took quite a bit longer because it was transition into spring and I wanted to get their stuff sold so it took a little bit of time but um, so I messaged the people, my clients that I'm selling for and I tell them that I'm ready to pay them and we meet up or they come to my house or I go to them or however I need to do it and I give them their payment. That's how that works. So it's really that simple. Um, that, that part does take some time. It also takes time to meet up with the people or get them their money. Um, in Somewhere in there I sleep and I eat and I take care of my family, but uh, it is definitely a full day a full evening of work and I work a lot on the weekends and I work almost every evening and um, between listing and selling and then the social media aspect and dealing with clients and customers it is definitely a lot of work it's awesome it's worth it it's very lucrative if you are willing to put in the work and the time so if you uh, are interested or want to learn more about it you can always comment and questions to me in the comments um, of this video. I'd love to answer them. If you do, I will get back to you. I promise. Um, just let me know what you think about the video. Whatever you do, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. That will help me um, know exactly what kinds of videos to put out there. I have more in my mind that I'd like to do. So I just hope you enjoyed this and that you at least take something away from it.